Next, please. I've been to me, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, have a large white wine, please. Uh, you know, if you've got it. So we're at the Shepherd and Shepherdess pub, country pub, just outside the Beamish Museum. I've gone for a roast beef dinner and Shell, if she's there. Shell's gone for the mince and dumplings. Choices are mashed potato and vegetables or chips and vegetables. You decided to go with your fancy chips today, don't you? So Shell's going to rate the mince and dumplings and I'm going to rate the roast dinner. Table, yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking that. No. Me neither. Even though I'm getting mash on mine. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, I no, me neither. So what asked him if it could be new with you? I'm going. Well, whether I like it or not, I'm getting mash, right? And I'm making it in a lemon So we're gonna wait the orders in. Lemon we're having soda. Lemon lemon soda. soda. Yeah. Drinks review as well. Okay, but for one? 125 for <laughs> Nice. Right, we're going to wait for the food and we're going to taste it and rate it. We'll see you in a bit. Min, min, please, yeah. No, oh, that looks nice. Right, so I'll just talk you through what's on the plate, even though we started eating. Yorkshire pudding, roast beef, generous amount of meat. Got mashed potato here, which is a little bit solid. That bit there is just a solid lump of mashed potato. Got peas, which is standard. Carrots. Got white cabbage. White cabbage is not my favourite, personal favourite. Shell likes it. That's Dad's dumpling, which uh, we're trying a little bit of each other's. So we've got roast potatoes. We've got these stuffing balls here. I went for the roast beef dinner, which was 10 95 Let's try a dumpling. And Shell. Shell's got exactly the, well, minced dumplings. Yours didn't come with any white cabbage, but I'll give you some. Peas, carrots, doesn't come with a stuffing bowl, which I donated. 
And you went for chips as well, didn't you? Yeah. Anyway, we'll eat our way through it and we'll let you know what it's like. Right. Progress report. That's how far Shell's got on with hers. It. And this is how far I've gotten on with mine. Now this big lump here, this is meant to be mashed potato. At first I thought it was a roast potato. It was right in the middle of the mashed potato, so that's a roast. Chips are nice. I'm full. Mm -hmm. I'm full. You're full. Well, I'm getting fuller. There's the beef. Anyway, what's your opinion watching this uh, video? Do you think it looks nice? Right, we're done. There's shells portion. What's left of it? And there's mine. I've left this mashed potato because it's just pure lumpy mashed potato. In fact, that, that bit there, that's raw. It's on the borderline of being raw. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, the mush was quite lumpy. How about to leave them bits there? Yeah, no, thank you. Customer service for you. Oh, okay. Doesn't go right with your food? No, well, the, mush, the mashed potato was lumpy. Oh, okay. You'd like any desserts? I want a lump, a big lump. Like that big lump was raw potato. Uh, Customer service these days. There's a lot to be desired. Right, anyway, we've we'll had the food. So we've got mince and dumplings with chips. And I went for a roast beef dinner. Um, yours was better than mine. I enjoyed mine. Mine was really nice. Yours was... Fine apart from and the, fans the dumpling, dumplings mean, weren't crispy enough for you. I mean, I mean. For you yeah. And Shell went for chips on hers. You seen what I had. And uh, you heard us mention the mashed potato problem. Which they didn't really didn't really listen to, did they? The Yorkshire pudding, I mean one was one was alright, it was as if it was a fresh Yorkshire pudding. It had a nice eggy taste to it. And then the other one seemed as though well, it was second hand, like it had been I don't know, for a couple of days ago or I don't know. One good, one bad. The meat was tender but it was pretty tasteless. Peas and carrots are standard, but even even the carrots weren't brilliant for me. Uh, I'm struggling with this one. Anyway, you've got your score, which is 
a child, a child who a more of a nine for the jungle, nine is for me. Mm. But I can't call it. Well, mine. I mean, like I say, if you've eaten here before and you think the food's brilliant, then that's your decision, you know, that's your opinion. But my opinion, based on what I've eaten, my individual plate of food, I am going to have to give it a 3 out of 10, and I'm being generous when I do that. The customer, you heard us say the complaint about the mashed potato, and you've seen his reaction. No attempt to knock anything off the bill or anything. Company club as well, I mean, it's not like it's a, you know, chain pubs that uh, just want you in and out. I mean, these places have a image, I think. Never mind. I'm scoring at 3 out of 10. And I'm knocking all the points off because it just didn't deliver multiple faults on the plate. Customer service rubbish. So there you go. I'm being honest. If it's good, it's good. I'll say it's good. If it's not so good, I'll say it's not so good. I mean, we might come back down another time and it might be absolutely 10 out of 10 perfect. But that's, it's on the day. Anyway, that's the scores. That's our opinions. And thanks for watching. Another food review from us. It's under lunch. And we will see you on the next one, wherever that may be. Could be anywhere. England, abroad, anywhere, could pop up anywhere. Anyway, take care of yourselves guys and bye for now.